And welcome to the next episode of Max Attack, where we rush people in the face and we see what happens. This time, we're gonna play Spider-Man and X-Men in Arcade's Revenge. We're going deep and we're going hard. Surely you can't be serious. I'm serious. And don't call me Shirley. I had no idea who Arcade was until I played this game. Apparently a really cheesy looking boss that calls himself Arcade. I realized I did a crappy job of introducing that, but we're just gonna go with it. Because going with it is kind of what you have to do with this game. Because you just start off and all of a sudden my spider sense is tingling. Blah, 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 blah. We make some friggin' annoying noise that you hear every time there's a freaking bomb or whatever these things are near you you gotta collect them this is how you start the game you're spider-man and, you, and you collect bombs you don't kill shit with webs you just collect freaking bombs so here i am attempting to remember the order of collecting bombs and this is probably the easiest thing you see all game because from here it's no freaking cakewalk Attempting to beat this game is not an easy task. It's one that I honestly can't even remember if I ever accomplished. Yep, this is all you do. Great intro level, huh? Just collect bombs. So much fun. Will you drop, please? And every time you get hit, he's only like, oh! And the funny part is, no matter what character you are, male character anyway, they make the same noise when they get hit. Apparently that shit's up there. God damn it. Uh, uh. There's two different tones. You heard the second one there. It's either an uh, or an uh. One or the other. Your spider sense is tingling. And that looks like the last bomb. Well done, Spidey! And that's Arcade. Some weird guy with a suit. Weird looking bow tie. Green undershirt. Whatever. So evidently the whopping plot behind this game is all the X-Men are captured. And Spider-Man just kind of stumbles upon them. And the game just instantly starts, just like that. So, we're going to start with Spider-Man. And here we go. First level, you're doing a lot more than just finding bombs. Which, I don't even remember if you actually find bombs anymore. Maybe not. Maybe yes, maybe no, I don't remember. This level's all about learning the web swing properly. If you... Web swing regularly, you'll get one swing. If you hold down while you do it, you get a lower swing. If you hold up while you do it, you get a higher swing. And a lot of this level is all about mastering the type of swing. Otherwise, you'll run into something and probably screw yourself up. Like that. I'm pretty sure I got hit there. Shit! Oh! I'm gonna climb this fucking wall. Climb this fucking wall. Oh, what the... Fuck! See? You have to master it. If you don't, you just get fucked. Ooh! What the hell even happened there? H how do I get there? Oh! How do I get there? How the fuck do I get to the other side? Oh! Did I kill him? Yeah, I killed him. I couldn't even see him. That makes a lot of sense. Get, get the fuck! Oh no! See, I fell here, so now I gotta go all the way across again. See, it's annoying a little shit like this, where you just—it's trial and error. You gotta figure out what swings work where. 
Oh! I'm almost dead. And when you die, it's kind of the same noise, except it's dragged out. You'll hear it soon enough, I'm sure. Unless I got a heart, which would be great. Oh! Oh, I thought it was only one hit. Oh, shit. Oh! So now you got Wolverine's level, where you can bust out his claws, which, why you wouldn't play without the claws is beyond me. It's the whole point of Wolverine, right? You want to play with the claws. The problem is, when you play with the claws, you, uh... <laughs> That's the annoying thing about this level. This game has a lot of annoying noises. On top of the fact that the game is hard, it's got a lot of interesting sounds. Let me not say annoying. They're just very interesting and very random and don't make much sense. So, when you have the claws out, you can't regenerate your health. If you don't have your claws, you can regenerate your health. So... It's like you get penalized for using his mutant power, which is complete and utter bullshit! But whatever, that's the way the game wants you to play. So you go around with Wolverine, you just want to slice up some shit because you're Wolverine, and you know what you do? You go around slicing up little toys. Uh, Jack in the Boxes and Toy Soldiers, that, that's what you do. You have Adamantium Claws. And you need to go around killing toys. Yep. That's what you do. This is some fucking bullshit, dude. <laughs> Sounds like more like he's crying than fucking like laughing at me or whatever. <laughs> Here comes Apocalypse. He's gonna one-shot me. Here comes. Oh! He barely touched me. Oh! See, Wolverine's a little bitch like that. Problem is, all the X-Men are little bitches in one way or another. Because you get put into freaking crazy stages and mutant abilities that kind of suck. So, here's Cyclops. You guys will get to find out why he sucks. All right. So, alright, you use Cyclops and you're like, okay, well, you can crouch, you can shoot, you got his, you can punch, I don't know why you would want to do that. You can kick too, I don't know why you want to do that either. Especially when you could just use his optic blasts. So you go not very far in the stage, just to realize there's a train track there. Now, if you fall to that train track, you instantly die. So you don't want to do that. You want to wait for this stupid cart here, and you want to go in the cart. And now I'm gonna jump out of the cart. I didn't crowd, so I took a hit there. Oh! If you run into those things, those are bombs. So if you're in the cart while you run into the bomb, the cart blows up and you instantly die. So that's something else that sucks. There you go. I just wrecked that guy. I didn't dodge that freaking grenade very well, but whatever. I'm gonna try to keep going here. I'm hoping there's a cart somewhere. There's a cart. I have to hope to land in that cart or else I'm dead. I timed it right. The idea is you shoot the bombs, or the mines rather, if you see them. You want to shoot them right away, because if you don't, again, you die in one hit. So here you are, attempting to use your mutant power. On every little thing you see, or else you're pretty much fucked. Oh, kind of like that, because I didn't look where I was going, and I kind of just fell off like an idiot. Storm's really freaking cool. She can control the weather and shit. But you know what? You don't get that. Instead, you get a shitty water level. Now, the goal of this water level, your health, is your bubbles. So, you essentially have infinite health as long as you can breathe above water. The problem is, to get through this stage, you need to kill enough of these gates and, uh, wheel things. Like, platforms with wheels on them, where you gotta shoot your lightning on at them. You gotta kill weird squids, which makes no sense. So there's one of those wheel things I had to kill. I evidently have two different powers right now, but I don't know what either of them does. And I'm almost dead already, so I need to get to the surface before I fucking die. Here we go. Alright, so I'm going to take advantage here to refill all my health. Because if I shoot that wheel thing there, it's going to raise the water more and I won't be able to breathe. 
Once I shoot this, I need to make a mad dash to figure out what the hell to do. Which I don't know what it is, by the way. So, we're gonna discover it together. Either that or I'm gonna fucking die for the video, which is the more likely possibility. Um, I'm gonna attempt to shoot this gate here. Not be near the explosion. Shoot another one of these wheel things. There's another gate here. I really don't know if I should be going this way or not. This looks like actually a pretty bad way to go. But I'm gonna try it anyway. I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna try it out. Okay, here we go. Alright, so there's another wheel thing. I'm gonna kill it. Just kinda kinda rush this part and see what happens. Take a breather real quick. Kill this squid. Get up here. Here's a place to breathe. And the water's not going up anymore, so there's probably more wheel things to go ahead and destroy. I don't want to press any other buttons other than Y, because... Why not? Well, the actual reason is because if I press other buttons, I'll use some of my powers that I really don't want to use yet. And that was a really bad thing to do there. Especially since I went way past where I'm, my breathing section is. Wait. I have bubbles. I can get bubbles. Air bubbles. It's like Sonic. Alright, so let's rush over back here to this part. Which reminds me of Lechman stage. Rush past all this. Get another bubble. Can't go up there anymore. Get the fuck up there. What are you doing? Another circle thing to cool kill. Another random... Uh, the ran a random scuba guy. I didn't expect to run into him there. Apparently he does a lot of damage. Those bombs do a crap load of damage. I really need air right about now or else I'm going to fucking die. Oh, shit. And it's funny because she dies, but she stands perfectly still. Alright, so that's Storm's crappy stage. And here's Gambit. You get to throw cards right off the bat, but here's a big problem with this stage. If you do nothing for like two seconds, you're already instantly dead. So we're going to not do that. And keep running. You have this wrecking ball that's chasing you the entire stage. And you gotta be quick. You gotta keep throwing out your cards here. Collecting as many stars as possible. Which I don't remember exactly what they do. They might get you an extra life. I have no fucking idea. If you make one wrong turn, that ball is gonna get closer to you. So you really wanna be quick about it here. I'm gonna get that health, which... I don't think I really needed, but I got it anyway. I just ran to that thing, which fucked up my getting health in the first place. I'm gonna try to kill these things in time. Get this, which I don't remember what it does. You have jokers, which kill like a bunch of things on screen, which I think I'm gonna need to use one in order to kill these things around me, because I used all my cards. If you run out of cards, which I don't know when Gambit ever ran out of cards in the show, I'm already dead. I can't even continue talking about it. And just like that, I get a game over, because I died in everyone's stage, and I guess that's how many lives you get. I don't know, I don't care, this game fucking sucks. So, there's two stages for uh, everybody, to my knowledge, and then I think there's another stage in between, I, I don't know, I, I feel like I've done this at one point or another, but this isn't a game I realistically return to very much, because it's a bitch, you're essentially crippled on your abilities is what to do with everybody, and it's just not that good. Or that's just my opinion. You can see that I really suck. That's part of it too, but you know, it is what it is. This is your game. This is Spider-Man and the X-Men and Arcade's Revenge. If you're a fan, you'll play it, but for how long depends on how much you want to torture yourself and hear annoying noises. Take care, everybody.